Oh. How are you doing, guys? My name is Ben. This is Andrew. And uh, today we'll be continuing his Ruby uh, journey. 4-4. Uh, All right. Uh, go ahead and give us a rundown of the last episode. Uh, the last episode, we got to see a little bit of a Blake and Yang uh, going on. We got to see Yang's kind of suffering from some PTSD. Uh, kind of is Blake also, because she's kind of like paranoid all the time, it seems mm -hmm. like. She's always got like an eye over her shoulder kind of thing. Notice she's actually being followed by this hooded uh, person. Ends up being Sun. Uh, they end up fighting off a Grim, a humongous dragon type, uh, sea monster type Grim. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that was pretty much the episode. I mean, we got to see, like I said, a little bit of PTSD on, from Yang's side, but that was really all we got. And then we got to see her get her, her robotic arm that she refuses to use right now. So, uh, yeah. What about the Salem part? Oh, yeah, then we got to see Salem get a confession out of uh, Cinder saying that she killed Ospin. So. And? and? Oh, yeah, and that there's a relic in um, Beacon somewhere, hmm. so they need to find it. Boom. So, I mean, there was a giant, yeah. giant basement vault thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, like it was, uh, what'd they call it? What'd they, what'd they call it? The... Did they call it a vault? I think they called it the vault. I think that's what they called it. Yeah, go down to the vault. I could be wrong. But I will say it's no, no, kind there of was a, There was a big, big it, thing down there. It's kind of interesting how once she got Cinder to say that she killed Ospin, she then said um, to double up the troops or double up or... Reinforce. Reinforce, yep. yeah. So it's kind of like for some reason, I guess she felt like it was lost cause to reinforce. If Austin was still there, I guess. Is what she was making it seem like, I guess. Mm. Or she felt like maybe if I just kept sending more in, they would just keep dying, I guess. Because Austin and... Well, I don't think they're dying. I think they're just trying to find the relic. Well, well I'm we saying, know that, we I'm know saying, that she, like, she, like, waited till she said Austin's gone to, 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 to say, reinforce. Mm. It's like she waited okay. for her to admit that. So I was wondering maybe if she felt like it was a lost cause to keep sending people in if Austin was still alive. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And this chapter is called Family, so what do you think you're going to get out of that? We might get more of a uh, family. Might be a crow approach, like crow getting up with a ruby maybe, meeting up with her, or either focusing more on Yang and her father, or going even back to Weiss and her family. Okay. So it could be a little bit of any, uh, I think, of all those. But uh, well, i actually going to probably Weiss. It's probably going to go back to Weiss. Okay. Because we just got a little bit. I of mean, game. they all have families. Yeah. Yeah. So they all. What happened? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like they all have families. So. Yeah. So. I don't see. But let's find out. Bubble. Mm -hmm. Let me put this in a better spot. You should listen to the lyrics too. Okay. This guy again. It's the guy. The guy. The guy.
Hello, I'm Professor Oswald. <laughs> a skirt uh, I was just a TA I, I didn't know what to do so I just I just left the room to laugh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we told him it was a kilt he'd never worn a uniform before so he didn't know Stop. <laughs> oh, that is terrible what is wrong for you hey the girls all said he had nice legs I did that jerk a favor <laughs> besides that's not even the best part see then we like what you see Mustache <laughs> 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 goat. Oh, uh, Miss Xiaolong, uh, please join us. <laughs> How tall that man is. Uh, right? Professor Cracky. What's his name again? Ublick. Ublick. Yeah, that's right. So remember. What are you doing here? Despite popular belief, teachers do have a life outside the classroom. Professor Goodwitch is working round the clock to restore Beacon to its former glory. But Mistral wasn't built in a day, and we all need some rest from time to time. Yeah, look, let's not worry about that right now. So, there we were, standing in the auditorium, looking at Crow wearing a skirt. Then Oz tells everyone it's time to work on our landing strategy. <laughs> <laughs> The Broadway twins have always been interesting, to say the least. That sure didn't seem to stop young Ty. <laughs> hey, come on, man. She's right here. Oh, please. She's a mature young woman. If she can handle combat, she can handle a few jabs at her old man. That's not the issue, Pete. And besides, she's still a teenager. She is also in the room and can be directly spoken to. And I think I've been through enough to be considered an adult at this point. Yeah. Touche, she adult lost the arm. You're pretty mad. A long way to go before you're ready for the real world. Oh my gosh, does every father figure just have the same three condescending phrases? Yeah, but we only use them when we mean it. Is that so? As a matter of fact, it is so. If you honestly think that you're ready to go out there on your own, well, I guess you lost some brain cells along with that arm. You jerk! <laughs> Are we finally talking about the Goliath in the room? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Miss Shaola... Yang. If you don't mind me asking, why haven't you tried on the arm yet? Oh, yes, yes. A piece of Atlas technology being given out like that is rare indeed. Not to mention the effort it took to deliver here. It seems a great many people want to see you return to normal. I'm... scared. Everyone keeps talking about me getting back to normal, and I appreciate it. But this is normal now. It's just 
taken me a while to get used to it. Well, normal is what you make it. What is that supposed to mean? Do you want me to just pretend like nothing happened? I lost a part of me. A piece of me is gone, and it's never coming back. You're right. It's not coming back. But that doesn't have to stop you from becoming who you want to be. You're Yang Xiao Long, my sunny little dragon. You can do whatever you put your mind to. So whenever you're ready to stop moping and get back out there, I'll be there for you. I... Fear is like any other emotion. It comes and goes. It's all in how you handle it. Why, even I find myself wrestling with that emotion from time to time. Really? You? He's afraid of mice. They bring only disease and famine! <laughs> and don't even get me started on their tails. So hairless, simply unnatural. Point, I assure you, you are safe. There's no mice here right now. <laughs> There's no mice right here. <laughs> no mice right now. <laughs> and friends get together to start roasting each other. <laughs> no, it's the vibes. Thanks for having us over, Scott. Anytime. You're always welcome. It may be a while before we return. There is still much work to be done at the school. I hesitate to ask, but. Is there any word from young Miss Rose? Not yet. Have you thought about going after her? Trying to bring her home? <sighs> I've got to... look after some things. Come on, guys! If we pick up the pace, we can hit the next town before sunset. Assuming it's still there. Of course it'll be there! This one's supposed to be pretty big. He gan bana. He gan bana. It's a well-protected village with a popular inn. Which means no camping in the rain. See, everything's gonna be fine. You know, we've had a lot of ups and downs, but things could be a lot worse. I really thought we'd see more grim. As did I. I guess our luck is finally turning around. To Higan bana. Crow the goat. So maybe his semblance isn't being a crow? What do you think it is? I think it's that either the crow tracks things for him or that he can see what the crow sees. Hmm. Either one. Oh, I didn't. From the woman upstairs, red eyes. Said you wouldn't mind bottom shelf. Thanks. But I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. Ah, oh, man. Hey. <laughs> For the gold. Yeah. For the gold. Look at him, he's like, hey, boy. Look at that top shelf whiskey, baby. Look yeah. at that cheap stuff. What? Yeah. They know me around these parts. <laughs> I don't know who the red la eyed lady is. Sure you do. No, is it? Oh. Hey, his sister. Hello, brother. Yang's mama. Raven. Any word? I thought uh, Salem was just up there chilling here. I talked to him. I'm like, oh, about to get real. 
So, what do you want? A girl can't just catch up with her family. She can, but you're not. So how about we get on with it? Unless you plan on keeping these coming. Does she have it? Did you know Yang lost her arm? That's not... Rhetorical question. I know you know. It's just obnoxious that you'd bring up family and then carry on like your own daughter doesn't exist. I saved her. Once. Because that was your rule, right? Real mom of the year material, sis. I told you Beacon would fall, and it did. I told you Ozpin would fail, and he has. Now you tell me, does Salem have it? I thought you weren't interested in all of that. I just want to know what we are up against. And which we are you referring to? You should come back, Raven. The only way we beat her is by working together. All of us. You're the one who left. The tribe raised us, and you turned your back on them. They were killers and thieves. They were your family. You have a very skewed perception of that word. I lead our people now. And as leader, I will do everything in my power to ensure our survival. I saw. The people of Shion saw too. The weak die. The strong live. Those are the rules. Wait, what? You <laughs> certainly got someone strong on your side. <laughs> I've seen the damage. We couldn't have known the Grim would set in as quickly as they did. Oh, no. Talking about the Grim. And I'm not talking about you either. If you don't know where the relic is... That's why her mask looks like that. I don't know where the Spring Maiden is either. But if you do, I need you to tell me. And why would I do that? Because without her, we're all going to die. <laughs> and which I'm... we are you referring to? Yo! Hold on. Is she who I think she is? Make this one a double. Hmm? You making it. Okay, I don't think. I think I just lost it over the wrong thing. <laughs> is she the leader of the White Fang? No. Oh, that is also for no reason. Because I was thinking she was the leader of the white family. You, you like, misunderstood. Yeah, I misunderstood. So we're all... Like you're, you're correct, but in the wrong way. You should put her arm on right there at the end. Man! I thought she was white bang, bro. I was like, you're, no. Like you said, you're, you're correct, but in the wrong way. So she is white fang? No. She's right. not associated to the white fang. Oh, but she's a leader. Of something. Not the White Fang. Because it looked like she had like that mask. I've always mm -hmm. thought it looked like a White Fang mask, but... Um... It's a double. I mean, the White Fang wear masks that look like Grimm, and she also wears a mask that's just like Grimm, but yeah. she's not related. So she's the leader of bandits? I guess that's what it, uh, I'm hinting towards. Yep. But he said they're thieves and killers. And he said, oh, the people of Shion, which we just witnessed. That's the village with the uh, dead. Oh, the yes. Dead. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So oh. you're like I said, you're correct, but in the wrong way. If yeah, she's not the White Fang. Bro, I was losing it. I thought she was White Fang, and I'm like, bro, she about to get a lot closer to Salem than she realizes, bro. Well, uh, the, the name of the leader is Sienna Khan. That's right. It was Sienna Khan, not yeah. no Raven. But yeah, maybe I, I was I trying know. to figure. I was like, "What is he? Well, like, what's like, he saying?" Like so. Maybe she had like a secret code name for herself, but uh, 
So we had a bunch of interesting things happen this episode. Yeah. So we had this where we find out his name is Oscar because the other person says, says, his, name. says his name is Oscar. So I will be telling you his name is Oscar as yeah. they said it. And he, he does this thing where he's like looking. And then he hears Ospen. Hello, I'm Professor Osborne. All the Ospen's dead, my dude. So what do you think that is? I don't know, but I don't think Ospen's dead. Well, give me, give me some theories. What do you think it could be? I don't know what he saw in the mirror, though. I well, know. he was looking... Like, if you look in a mirror, are you surprised? No. Okay, but he was surprised. Like, he was like... He saw something. He was like looking at himself, he's like... So what do you think that is? And then he heard Osman. So what, just... He give me some ways... Something of, caught his eye, I don't know what caught okay, his but eye. Okay, how do how would he hear Osman in this case? Osman would have to be there, right? Or he could be recording us in the mirror, but that would be weird, I don't know. Maybe he is what he is. I. You think Ospin's in the mirror? Not in the mirror, but he, I think Ospin could be like it could be a recording. Maybe, maybe it was an invitation. He got to go to Beacon, but his mom hid the message from him or something. I don't know. Okay. I mean, that could be a theory, I guess. I couldn't tell you other than that. But why would Ospin be here? Maybe that's Ospin's son. You think this is his son? Maybe it could be his son. I don't know. Yeah, I'm lost for words right now. Okay. I wasn't ready for that at all when he said I'll spell. Oh. We got some PTSD with uh Adam. with Yang and Adam. Yeah. Wakes up, has a meeting where they're talking about um Bro, where you're for you <laughs> how uh Tai yeah. Yang, who was on the same team, uh -huh. got Crow to wear a skirt and skirt. told him it was a kilt. Yeah. So, and then they were going to work on their landing strategies. Yeah. yeah. These are flying through the yeah, air. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah. that's what they're laughing at. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, so, then they're talking about this. Um, there's a pretty crazy line. Cells along with that arm. Most people freak out just like you did. <laughs> I was looking yeah, at Yeah, I was like, oh, yo, her dad surpasses Weiss's dad with that one. That's bad. <laughs> but it's pretty much that kind of relationship like they were yeah, 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 yeah. they're that they're at that point in their at a they're at a certain kind of relationship yeah, yeah, where yeah. that is okay yeah right course, i mean it's yeah. a very unique you can't just do that with anyone yeah of course like that is like super bond right yeah, there yeah, yeah, yeah of course like i don't know like oh, that would be like if your best friend had their arm cut off uh -huh. and like it was like that for a long time you could uh, you could eventually yeah, make fun. I mean, because you would eventually make fun of everything that they yeah, are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. you'd be like, ah, you know, like maybe you were better, you wouldn't have lost your arm. You know, it's like, it's like, wow, bro, really? Really? Yeah, That's yeah. why you got a small toe. Or it's like it's people like, wait, who like make fun of themselves when they have something wrong with them and then they, they like laugh with people about it instead of like letting it yeah. bring them down. Yeah, so it's like this, but this is her getting over her, her, her arm, her yeah. stuff because then these guys are talking. Like, have you heard of, Ruby, and she's like, no, and then uh, at this point, <sighs> I've got to look at that. Look after yeah. So she, so she hides, and then she, she hears that. So he can't go look for Ruby because he has to look after some things, and he looked up at her, and she hid. Yeah. So now, with her personality, she's very much like gung ho. You know, like I don't need anyone protecting me, and yeah, yeah, yeah. now there's someone like. Like, hey, you know, I can't, I have to watch over her. Yeah, so yeah. that messes with her because she doesn't want to be a burden to people, you know? Yeah, yeah, So then they start to go to Higambana, right? And then uh, they're like, apparently he's just been killing Grim this whole time. So while they've been walking, he's been killing Grim. Yeah. 
So they go to this. You get this. Uh, <laughs> you get my man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I went ahead and gave you top. Lucky you. <laughs> crow's a goat, bro. I like crow. <laughs> Look at my man. He's like, yeah. It's just a just walk up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> then he goes and talks to Raven. So we learned. This is that. the first time we like. She talks in the series. Yeah, yeah. Because like in the dream sequence in volume two, like I said, that wasn't canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how they actually wanted to introduce her. Yeah, or this yeah. is how they, they ended up introducing her. Yeah. So she does have a big grim mask, but that's not the grim mask that they wear. Yeah, no, it's different. Right. It definitely is different. But so she's like, do they does she have the relic? Right? Yeah. So um and then he's talking about the spring maiden. He's like, I don't know where the spring maiden is, but if you do, then you need to tell me. She's like, and why would I do that? Right? So I was yeah. like... He goes, if we don't know where she is, we're dead. Yeah, we're all dead. So they do their their little brawl thing. And then uh, pretty much they, they split ways. And then... Get all like you get a yang. Comes and then the uh, with her arm. a yang comes out with her arm. And just for, just for you guys, this isn't for him. Um, I have... A theory related to this episode but that's for him i'll be working on those videos so. nice and oscar see we have oscar oscar e okay okay so what do you think of the episode that was pretty good uh uh i think Parts that got me in. I mean, I think it's kind of cool to figure out that um, Raven and Crow came from a they come from a, a, a bandit uh, background. Finding out that their families are bandits or family is bandits, like that's where they come from. So that's kind of cool. That was cool. Yeah. Kind of weird finding out that Yang's dad was in the bandits. You think Summer Rose was also a bandit? Absolutely not. I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm just saying that she and Crow were, ban were bandits. So, well, they yeah. all went to the same academy. That's true. So. Yeah, that's true. So he may not have known she was a bandit. Yeah, that's hey, true. true. You never know. That's true. All right. Well, we're going to move on to the next one. All right. Uh, follow us on the Twitch. Subscribe to the YouTube. Comment. I reply to all the comments. You yep. and uh. Give me a like. It'd be great. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Later.